Good morning, folks. We're starting here looking at the umbral magnetic fields of the departing sunspots. Within 24 hours, this active region will have turned and be a visual memory, but will not be out of focus. Earth's magnetic connection to our star is currently just behind the south departing limb, so we'll watch for proton bombardment. Imagine you live in South America and are an underprivileged student. Imagine you go on a class trip excavating areas that were jolted upward by the 8 magnitude earthquake that struck on April 1st, and now imagine finding a 7,000 year old mummy. That's yet another pre-Nazca discovery. After Greece's large quake last week, the factors waned and we've been in sea range on the earthquake conditions. Had no major shaking with yesterday giving the ring of fire the whole day off. Image of the day comes from NASA's Earth Observatory. Phytoplankton blooms are always spectacularly photogenic. The top storm on the planet Earth is losing steam. Amanda barely cracking 100 miles per hour with her best gusts and her expected weakening is coming as she treks north to the coastline. Quickly looking down under where the low pressure is encroaching from the south. Having seen that, the cloud cover should make a significant amount of sense. Wish I could say the same about the odd system in Eastern Europe that spawned outrageous hail, flash flooding, and an earthquake in the span of a few hours, adding to the ongoing emergency of floods in the area. The U.S. had the same zones under watch this evening, but it would be wise to monitor the severity spawned by the entire storm zone as the tornadoes and isolated hail events have gone wandering outside their expected territories. Wind map says the heat shall continue. We'll do another contrail forecast. Remember, we're looking for places where persistent contrails cannot be explained by extra moisture. This is paramount for the crowd opposing SRM or other geoengineering measures. We need to look for and call out spraying where there's no chance of a skeptic calling out atmospheric moisture. If you are a follower or an activist in this realm, you cannot operate without doing this. It's like trying to direct traffic with your eyes closed. Anyway, solar flaring with another day of dismal activity. The sunspots look like they've given up, content to wait until June's planetary geometries. Should ramp back up in about two weeks. Meanwhile, the solar wind gave flaring a run for its money in the weakness category. This is child-level streams, and our magnetic shield swats it like a fly. The coronal fields are fickle. We ended up entering a calm period, lacking northern fields almost completely. Meanwhile, the next incoming coronal hole, that dark slice on the center turning in, appears to be losing power and closing up as a coronal hole. We may never have a geo-effective moment. Couple notes for perspective. Coming back to our temperature readings, over the last 15 years, since 1999, the planet has warmed 0.3 degrees Celsius. I chose that year because one year earlier was El Nino and would unfairly show a major cooling trend. However, after just three more years, in 2002, the cooling trend is there by about the same margin. And finally, folks, this is what I've wanted to show you. This shows the absurd cold wave that has dominated the planet since the spring of 2013, or the southern fall, I suppose that would be. And now the turn back towards heat, expected to hit the top of this chart with some of the most powerful El Nino conditions developing since, well, 1998. Some more perspective here, the Earth during the age of the IPCC, CO2 up top has risen 10% in the largest and fastest increase in history. Heat trapping gases in general are up closer to 15%, and ocean heat appears to have risen even more. In terms of how this has affected our planet, temperatures are negligibly different and actually on a shorter term cooling trend, and we actually just had the most spring snow cover in the entire time frame. Fascinating. Lastly folks, some notes on site updates. Last night we added section 1 of humans and electromagnetism. It's the follow up and breaking out of the video that most say I will never outdo. I am Harp. Over the last 30 days we added the geoengineering section and the electric earth and sun section which discusses the earth spots hypothesis. And of course Agenda 21 Counter-Strike and Starwater have four chapters each under the belt. I know membership is expensive folks but I'll try to make the three bucks worth it. All is calm for the time being. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.